So guys, um, today I just finished building one water tower from each U.S. state. And I'm going to show you all of them, all 50 of them. First we have Alabama with Dothan, Alabama. This is a simple water tower, six columns. So yeah. Next we got Palmer, Alaska. Very iconic water tower. And let me just my phone. So yeah. Once again, a classic style water tower. And we got Yuma, Arizona. Hydro pillar. Pretty big one too. Not the biggest. The big second the biggest one is in Pennsylvania. The second biggest is here in Iowa. So then we got Rogers, Arkansas. It's a big Toros here with lots of columns. Got doesn't have a balcony. Yeah. They got Vernon, California. Another Toro sphere without a balcony. So yeah, pretty tall too. Then you got a composite style from Pueblo, Colorado. I, I guess I made it too big. I think I made it too big. So yeah. Then I got one in that's near Hartford. That's in the suburbs of Hartford, Connecticut. It's just a smaller hydro pillar. Then we got Middletown. Middle, wait, is it Middletown or Middleton? No, it's Mi Middletown. Yeah, Middletown, Delaware. It's a big poop colored water tower. It's standard size. Then we got Plant City, Florida. We got the strawberry water tower. So yeah, we'll get the detail on the top as well. And I got Columbus, Georgia. What the Columbus Waterworks water tower, pretty short. And we got Hilo, Hawaii with their red and white checkerboard water tower. Pretty cool. It's pretty tall as well, like really tall. And we got Moscow, Idaho with the University of Idaho water tower. It's just an old fashioned torosphere water tower without a balcony. <laughs> then we got the Columet water tower, Columet City water tower in Illinois that I built too big. See, so yeah, it's got the big old happy smiley face on it. Then we got Lafayette in Indiana. This torosphere water tower without a balcony. So yeah, and then this is actually the tallest water tower in the world, in this Minecraft world, unintentionally. It's the Marston Water Tower, which is the names here in Iowa. First water tower built west of the Mississippi. So yeah, built in 1897. A little bit of history for you. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's also pretty tall as well. Colby, Kansas is next. The Torosphere with a balcony. So yeah, is this, no, it's blue. Then we got Florence and Florence, Kentucky with the Florence y'all compot on a hydropillar water tower. It's red and white striped. We got the Jefferson, a Jefferson Parish water tower from Jefferson, um, Louisiana, which is in the New Orleans area or New Orleans, however. And got an Air Force Base water tower from Maine. Okay, I don't remember where it was at. But yeah. The balcony is fully enclosed, so it doesn't have any, like, railing. Like, it's just got a wall for a rail railing, so, like, barred. They got Merlin City, Merlin. This old Torosphere water tower without a bucket with a hydropillar riser pipe. And yeah, it's it doesn't have a balcony either. And here we go. We got... The old Reading Water Tower in Reading, Massachusetts, but it's since been torn down, unfortunately. It's an old style Taurus Free Water Tower with the enclosed balcony. So, yeah. Then we got Wyoming, Michigan, with one of their two Taurus Free Water Towers with the hydropillar reservoir pipe. And this is a smaller one, but it's a taller one. The other one's larger but shorter and also has a full enclosed balcony. 
So yeah, this one has nine columns. And then we got Blaine, one of two weird mushroom, one of two mushroom shaped water towers here in the United States that I know of. This one in Indiana, it's in the Chicago area. So yeah, it looks like it could be a terrestrial multi-column, but they just went with the single pedestal, single pipe for in the base, like a spheroid. So yeah, Blaine. It's kind of neat. I wish I saw it when I was in Minnesota. Then we got Oxford, Mississippi. And yeah, pretty kind of weird looking. Sorry, not really. We got Branson, Missouri, but apparently they repainted this water the water tower to give a new paint job, so it looks different now. Which is kind of dumb because this paint job looks a lot better in my opinion. So yeah, I've seen it. I've been to Branson. Then we got Great Falls, Montana, Taurus Fair Water Tower with the balcony. I guess I'm not gonna specify those it, the balconies anymore because it's getting kind of annoying. Pretty sure. Then we got Boys Town, Nebraska. <laughs> With the old fashioned Tarosphere. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Boys Town 100. And maybe that one will, will go. Then we got somewhere in Nevada. Don't, no, it kind of looks like Shrek from here almost, but it's supposed to be like a, a bowl with like the horns. Kind of like the logo from in Fort Worth on their water tower, so yeah. Five column, multi-column water tower. And we got Exeter, New Hampshire. <coughs> it's a regular, com just a composite style water tower. And we got the Union Water Sphere water tower that's in Union, New Jersey. So yeah, there's that. And we got this one with the state flag almost kind of and New Mexico, spheroid. Then here's what I'm I'm really sad because they tore down this West Hempstead water tower in March. And I just found out about it not too long, a couple weeks ago, and I'm still upset about it. It was 84 years old. It was super tall. It had a 300 millimeter beacon on the top, but yeah, it was a one of a kind water tower as well. <coughs> <coughs> So yeah, if the city council of West Hempstead water t of West Hempstead is watching this video, which I really highly doubt, please rebuild it using fresh materials. Please, this is one of my favorites. Actually, it was actually one of my favorites. I love this water tower, <laughs> and it was an icon for that city as well, for West Hempstead as well. It's on like Long Island in New York. Then for North Carolina, we got this one in Wilson. Or is it Hickory? No, I think it's Wilson, but yeah. Another old style Taurus sphere. Then this one in West, in West Hempstead, it was like the combination of two water towers, you know, like the one in near downtown Marshalltown, and then like the old style Taurus sphere water tower. So yeah. This one, there's a couple of these here in North Carolina, well, in North Carolina, where like these extra brackets extend up all the way to the top of the tank. So I think it's kind of neat. So two of them have two rows of columns so, and we got north carolina with i mean north dakota with jamestown is a really short torosphere but you know what i like it because i have a thing for big water chairs are also really short <laughs> and then fairborn ohio this kind of unique water tower like this tank is kind of weird and it doesn't have a balcony either so, yeah then we got Stillwater, Oklahoma, which it's got the new paint job that is not really new anymore. But I remember when I was down in Oklahoma, Stillwater, Oklahoma, with my grandparents, it had like the dark blue stripe and it said Stillwater in all caps, I think. But now it's got, and it says City of like right there, but I didn't have enough room and it's really small. So yeah, so yeah, my grandparents lived in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and here we got. One of the Portland, Oregon water towers, like the at the something starts with a K at the water hydro hydro park, pretty unique water tower. And we got this one in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's pretty short. 
I kind of exited. I guess I made the the tank a bit too thick. Like it's supposed to be a lot thinner. So yeah. Then we got um, Quan Set Rhode Island water tower with this hot air balloon style water tower. So one this there's one of these styles in Okoboji here in Iowa as well. And you know this Shiloh water tower in Illinois? That's not so famous. It's like a lot of them. There's even one here in Iowa. And Pocahontas is like I'm in Arkansas. And yeah. But yeah. Pretty common. So yeah. They got Columbia, South Carolina. <coughs> it's a big Taurus Fair water tower. Yeah. Then we got Mitchell, North, South Dakota, which I've seen this big boy as well. It's a big one. It's a big one, I call them. Then for Tennessee, I bought this one. I can't remember the town, but it's like one of the three concrete water towers here in the United States. <laughs> another, another one of the other one. One of the another one is in Frankfort, Kentucky. And the other one's somewhere in Florida, I think, yeah. And all the same shape, but different sizes. And we got Fort Worth, Texas. This is one of two water towers in the entire nation. And, and they're both in Fort Worth, Texas, which were built by Pittsburgh, De Des Moines, Pittsburgh. Like steel tanks. So yeah. <coughs> Which I think is neat. This one's in, kind of famous, it's in Utah. But I can't remember the town. It's kind of odd. It's like one of those old-fashioned style water towers, but without the balcony, which you don't see all of it every day. Also, the riser pipes kind of messed up on the actual tower, so I mucked that. And we got Burlington, Vermont, at the University of Vermont water tower. It's a simple multi-column. And we got Richmond, Virginia. Now, this water tower is kind of neat. There's like six of these, I think. Where it doesn't have like one riser pipe in the middle, it's got like four legs, which with columns I would assume to be the riser pipes, which is kind of neat. So, yeah. Then we got this water tower in Washington State, also built by Des Moines, Pittsburgh. It's Blue Sphere, I don't know what time it is. And then we got Charles Town, West Virginia, the historic Charlestown, West Virginia water tower. Got seven columns. Then the big boy in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. It's got 16 columns on the outside and eight columns on the inside. Which I think is like the one in Morningside, but I think the inside the inside road also has um has more columns. Yeah, this one's kind of hard to read, but yeah, Wauwatosa. So yeah. Then, last but certainly not least, is this one in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I've also seen this one. It actually has a 300 millimeter beacon on it. It's a composite style with the balcony. Which, there's one one of those style, one of the style here in Iowa. It's in Central City, I think, out by Cedar Rapids. So yeah, like the Archer Center, whatever it's called. Archer Camp. I don't know. Archer something that starts with C. <laughs> so yeah. That's it. That's 50 water towers. One day, one of these day, like, actually, in the past, like, working on these water towers, I built nine in one day. But today I built, um, let me see. Um, I built Vermont through Wyoming. So that's one, two, three, four, five water towers today. <laughs> and here's the secret to building a water tower. I first build a tank near the ground and I build one corner. Then I use safe structure and load it around and use like 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. Then put the tank up higher at the height I want, then build, cut, build the columns. And then boom. <laughs> or whatever kind of water tower it is. So yeah. Um that's about it. I wish I can 
and I'm gonna have like set to the render distance to like to like at least like five thousand blocks because or maybe more because that'd be a bit more realistic. I mean because all these water towers, like there's fifty of them, each water tower is about a hundred blocks away from each other, so yeah. It's actually over five thousand blocks, which is over five thousand meters, which equals five kilometers. <coughs> so yeah, mm. I'm so happy to have this project done. It's been something I've want, been wanting to do for a while now. I think I started it earlier this month. It, here, well, as of right now, it's May twenty seventh, twenty twenty three. So yeah, I don't know why I say so yeah a lot. It's just, it's my gimmick, I think. I just wanted to show you this project because I think it's really cool how I did all this. And all by myself too. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.